Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Tug RC. Today I'm going to show you how to waterproof your receiver using PlastiDep. Uh, I'm going to use my Flysky uh, receiver. This is a brand new receiver. So if you're doing uh, this process to a used uh, receiver, make sure it's nice and clean so the PlastiDep can actually uh, attach to it. Um, there's two ways of doing it. You can either uh, sink the whole uh, um, receiver into the plastic dip and then let it dry, but I'm going to use uh, a sponge, this little sponge, which I just cut off from an air filter. And I'm going to gently just apply over the receiver because I don't want to overdo it. Just in case if um, creates the the receiver to overheat, um, so gently um, you're gonna apply the plastic tip. Just make sure you are covering it nicely. Uh, don't worry about your fingers. Uh, that comes out very easily But make sure you are in a ventilated place because this is actually quite uh, toxic So we'll do um, One side and then we'll do the other side We'll use the same process just nice and gently um, For those harder Places like in between the the two towers, <coughs> you possibly want to use um, a toothpick and just uh, <coughs> gently apply the the plastic dip over it or in between them. I mean. So make sure you uh, when applying. Make sure you're not applying any of the plastic up over the the pins where the servos and the ESCs will connect. Otherwise, you could have problems in the future when trying to connect them. They might not work. So try to take any access. You don't want to overdo it as well. So as you guys have noticed, I um, don't know if I mentioned it at the beginning, but I'm using clear uh, plastic dip just only because I prefer to see all of the electrics uh, still underneath of the plastic dip. Uh, you can get plastic dip uh, with color, but I just prefer it like that, just a, a preference. Uh, there's no, no difference with color or no color. So double check both sides. All all is nice and shiny and covered. Make sure your pins are not covered with the plastic dip. If they are, you can always later just uh, uh, clean them off. Is actually easier to clean the, the pins uh, if they go a bit of plastic dip after they dry then while they're still wet because it, while you try to clean it it just spreads everywhere it's very hard to clean off so it's better just waiting let it dry then you can just uh, do slight uh, small cuts and just peel them off they come off easily enough
Yeah, the reason I do not cover all is just because I don't dip all in the in the plastic dip, so I can actually just uh, go and put the the casing back on. I actually put the <clears throat> put the case back on just before it completely dries, only because he uh, on the board itself it's got two little holes where the two pins uh, have to go through that are in the case. So I want to do it before it dries because otherwise it will just uh, possibly peel off and uh, and water could get in. So while doing it while it's still wet, it will make, it will make sure that when it dries, everything uh, will be covered. So there it goes, guys. That's so simple it is to uh, waterproof a, a receiver. Uh, you can use this method to. Uh, what a proof um, your um, ESCs too. So thanks for watching and uh, please like, comment and subscribe if you uh, like what you see and come back for more videos. Take care.